Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm taking you guys behind the scenes of this most recent shoot that I was able to do of Hannah. If you guys want to go ahead and follow her, her link is down below in the description. And today's shoot was really just kind of going out, uh, messing around with different styles and also finalizing my preset pack. Um, all these photos were edited with my preset pack and they're actually down below in the description. So if you guys want to check it out, um, you can be able to purchase them down in the link. Now, I believe I include six to seven presets. Um, so it's pretty good value and it's definitely gonna allow you to be more creative, but also have some presets that's gonna be good for uh, a lot of client work and stuff if you want something a lot more subtle rather than being so punchy with colors and things of that nature. Now, during this shoot, um, we're shooting at a very hot time of day. You guys can see I'm just sweating like crazy, but um, it was actually around 9 a.m. we started. And the biggest thing anytime I'm shooting around, you know, this time of harsh daylight, I try to find a lot of uh, shade, whether it were trees, just so I can get some even lighting. Even those photos, you know, right there that I did before, uh, wasn't as even lighting. I still was able to capture a nice, pleasing image. And sometimes one of the best ways to remove harsh shadows that you may get on the skin is actually by lowering your clarity down and soften it up more. You know, give it more of a like a pro mist filter feel where it just kind of blurs out. Um, the highlights and it softens the skin tone so that's a cool trick if you guys never knew that now here again i'm just shooting from different angles having her have um do movement I and mean, it's always important to have movement within the shot that's what's going to allow one for it to be natural and it's going to allow for her to be more comfortable when shooting this was her first time actually uh shooting out with a photographer so this was a cool experience um, and just, you know, making sure that she feels relaxed, feels good, feels comfortable. And that's the most important part um, and just working your angles. And when I first started with the shoe, the purpose was um, just kind of get more shots and in, in different um, feeling using a 23 millimeter, a 56 millimeter and a 35 millimeter. And if you can see that. For portraits, I'm going to be using the 56 and the um, and the 35 a little bit more compared to 23. 23, I just want to show more of the background and kind of introduce you guys to the scenery and the setting of where we're at currently. And it's really cool getting down below shots because you do get a very interesting and an empowering type of look. Now here we switch to a different location, and here again there was a lot of shade, but it was a lot not, wasn't a lot of even lighting. Um, and here we went more with a upscale type of look while the other one's a little bit more urban. And I did switch it up to, and with editing, I kind of, I used our timeless preset. And uh, I really love these shots. The way the color um, comes out and pops out just gives it more of a, a memory type of feel. So it's very pleasing. And again, just having her do a lot of movement is the biggest important part and just being able to switch to different angles and different sets and that made it all come together. So next upcoming um, video clip, as you guys can see, we switched spots to the opposite side. Again, the lighting is uneven, but here again is just trying to find different angles and spots where I can kind of cover her face mostly and so I can at least get even lighting on her face. And then we went ahead and just kept moving around. Um, and you guys can see it's it's not bad having uneven lighting when it comes to the lower half of your body but when it comes to the face where you're trying to make that stand out then um, you want to make sure that you get even lighting on the face now here i just position in a different way again to get more even lighting um, across her whole body and just use my angles again and then i just play around with different focal lengths uh, with the 23 the 35 and 56 and just kept moving i always told her always keep having movement flip your hair and side um, and it just makes you know again things a lot easier and smoother you always want to try to find the features that highlight that person um, and what makes them feel confident and anytime I'm shooting I'm always asking hey you know what do you enjoy uh, what's your favorite pose um, which side is your good side and you kind of just keep going and, and throughout the whole um, photo shoot it just having a conversation so in this spot, in these photos, you guys can see, I went ahead and positioned myself a little bit differently, capture a different angle, have her again still have some movement going on. And I really love how these photos really turned out, especially the timeless. I feel like it gave it a, a stylistic look um, that's different from like more of a, what you see with your eye type of feel. So 
everything came out really good in this in this photo shoot. Um, some key takeaways is you know when it's hot, you just gotta find shady areas for you guys to shoot in. Um, and then uh, the settings really for my camera were at the lowest aperture, either 1.4, 1.2, or f2, and then. I had my ISO probably around 160 on my Fuji X-C3, and then the only thing I was adjusting was my um, shutter speed, and I played around with it. I always try to keep it uh, over 1 200th of a second, or 1 250 of a second, um, just so that the image comes out sharp and comes out good. And at that point, if you guys are seeing that your image looks too dark or something, um, just increase your ISO so that you can maintain that fast shutter and you make sure your images come out crispy. Now, here again, I just played around. I went more with a stylistic approach. I probably would have edited these better with um, black and white, but I found with timeless it actually looked really good too as well and just accentuate some of the colors. Here we went in switch position, um, just shooting over her shoulder, having her look back. Um, just get a different position. Again, it's all about playing around and having movement. Um, this shoot lasted about, I believe, to an hour 45. Um, I'm pretty quick with different outfits and, and different um, sceneries and shots. I just try to move along. And here again was edited with Timeless. Um, if you guys do decide to actually purchase a preset pack, you're going to be able to um, have a tutorial on there of how to, how to actually use these presets. And it's about 30 minutes long. So I'll go over these images and other uh, other images that you were able to see in RAW. It's gonna just help you guys edit them too as well. Now this next location is my favorite location with the best photos in my opinion. The outfit really went well, of what she was wearing. And overall, all of these photos were edited with the nature preset. And it really just complimented her. Um, the scenery was perfect. Uh, what she was wearing was perfect again. And just having movement um, throughout the shoot it was really what makes it easy and really I, I feel like I sound very repetitive and I'm probably ambient but taking photos is all about making the other person feel comfortable and that's with just a single person and also with couples and with couples um, hopefully I'm able to do more behind the scenes but with couples it's all about making them feel at ease and connected with each other and then you're just trying to capture that moment and you also want to share a little bit about yourself so that you're able to connect um, especially with couples you know so these photos came out really cool um, they came out good and again just working my angles getting down below um, trying to get different feel different looks having her look to the left to the right play with her hair and I believe that's one of the challenges that is with you know shooting men that they don't have all of those features that a woman has and so I'm actually gonna make it a challenge for myself to shoot more guys and see what I can do so I can bring more tips on to you guys too as well. If you found this video useful for you, please leave a like down below, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to the channel and just help, help us out really to continue growing and for me to continue making these videos. Um, I wish I would have show you guys more behind the scenes of this, but I was drenched in sweat and I looked disgusting. So I didn't want you guys to see that. But um, again, I appreciate you guys and please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.